Lee, um, if we start individually, you made a few huge saves today. Um, how was that for you out there? Yeah, it was a tough game, you know, the, um, but on a good side and, um, yeah, we sort of prepared for them to play out from the back and um, have opportunities, but at the end of the day, it's my job to do that and um, I think the boys give give everything today for the points and I think it's probably the, the least we deserve. We've not played badly this year and that seems strange to say this is the first point we've picked up and we're out of the cup, but this performance wasn't miles away from what we were doing before. It just seemed to be a little bit more confident and a little bit more complete than what we had before. Yeah, you know, I think if you look back at the Leicester game, I think it was a great performance. Um, you know, I'm just dis disappointed about the goal. As a whole, though, it was a good performance and, um, you know, as a team as well, it was it was different class. Like, we, we gave everything for that game and, you know, I think we could have nicked it. But I think a draw w would have been a fair result as well because of how hard the boys worked. Um, but, yeah, Plymouth, I don't think, I think everyone knows that wasn't good enough and, um, you know, we, we've really worked hard in the past two weeks to get to where we want to be and hopefully today is a performance where we can kick on now and we can sort of build on. There's a few times today where Borough went through one-on-one -on -one and you were quite quick off your line. It's you know it's something that's part of your game, but we don't see you having to do it too often, but you did it a few times today. How is that for you? Is it a, a, a nervous part of your game? Is it something you're more uncomfortable with? Because you look a lot spot on today. No, it, you know, different teams require different things from from me and from every other player. You know, you might play out from the back every time, you might go long every time. You know, the line might be higher, you might be a deep team. So it's just something you've got to adapt your game to. And um, no, listen, if it's asked, if the gaffer wants me to do it, and it's it's something that I can affect, then I'll do it. There at the back with yourself, it's quite settled now. There's a few lads have been here a few years. Uh, I know Lee's is missing at the minute, but Matty, Michal, Tom's really the only new addition to that unit. Does that help you guys settle and, and be more aware of each other, the fact that you've got a few years together under your belt? Yeah, obviously the more you play with someone, the more you know, OK, he's going to block this person at this time or he's going to make this run at this time or he's going to turn around and pass the ball back to me at times. And Yeah, you just learn each other's tendencies and... Um, yeah, it's it sort of it's getting better as it goes. You know, I think today was the best we've been this season, and um, it's something for us to build on. And I think it goes with Hoggy in front. I think Hoggy in front is. I think everyone knows what Hoggy does and how big he is to this team. And um, yeah, it's it's just about finding each other. And yeah, I'm just excited to get going again and uh, and hopefully push up the table. Like you said, the skipper was exceptional today. He really set the tone. It was unfortunate he got that questionable yellow card in the first uh, half. Um, the only thing that was disappointing was obviously their equaliser, but there was nothing that I don't think anyone would have been doing without. It was an absolutely brilliant hit. But it speaks to the mentality of the lads that we didn't seem to drop after that. We seemed to just get straight back on it and straight back at it. Yeah, that's one thing about this team. You know, I think we know we know what type of team we're going to have to be, and um, we know that we'll, hopefully we'll get a few more additions and we can sort of add to what we've got. But at the minute, we need to be that type of team that is just never given up. And I think. You know, I think people have always not. I've, I've seen me over the past two years, and you know, I won't. I, I, I'm not one to give up, and I'm always going to be there and pushing the lads. And you know, the, 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 we've got people like that all over the squad. You look at Matty, you look at Helic, you look at Hoggy, just at the back as an example. Um, so yeah, and I don't think we're going to be the team that'll ever go under. Um, you know, I think we had um, a few words with each other about the Plymouth game, and um, it's been a lot better since then. I know the, the gaffers stayed on, but effectively he left and came back again. When he came last time, it, it took us a few games to, to get into the, the swing of things, but once we'd you know found a little bit of a groove, a little r rhythm, we were playing really well. Do you think that's almost repeating itself now? It's taken us a couple of games to get used to things again, and, and now we can kick on after that Leicester performance, but this point especially? Uh, maybe. Um, I, I don't know. We like the gaffers. hasn't changed anything. Obviously, I got to work with him for the last three games of last season, and... Um, yeah, he hasn't changed nothing in pre-season, he hasn't changed nothing towards the games and maybe it's a psychological thing for the players, maybe it's a few new players, maybe uh, maybe outside noise is the one that's caused it, but no, I think, you know, I think Leicester, I think we deserve Sutton and, you know, I think today we could have easily won the game, um, but yeah, I'm just so proud of the boys for giving everything. The last thing I'll ask you is, we've got a, a poll running on Twitter at the minute for, for Man of the Match, yourself included, Jonathan Hogg, Matty Pearson and Sauber Thomas. Who would it have been for you? Uh, Hoggy, 100%. Perfect. Lee, thank you very much for your time. No worries, thank you.